So today I'm here at Sodi Tech UK's headquarters in Warwick. I'm with Connor Plaskett and uh, we've got something very special for you today, a uh, spotlight feature uh, for MTD CNC, talking about high speed machining, high speed milling, high accuracy milling, amazing surface finishes, all coming from this UX machine here behind me from Sodic. The UX predominantly, as you've already said, it's a high speed milling machine. So we're really going for sort of the highest level work that you can, you can achieve. So, you know, every machine has got its place in the market and this is really after that top tier sort of work. So any sort of high end medical molding applications, um, you know, very accurate electro manufacture, as well as uh, you know some jig grinding applications as well. This is the sort of machine for that job. Let's say <clears throat> lots of tight corners, lots of facets. Like you know, I keep referring back to that part that's sat in front of us. Um, something that would be difficult to polish by hand. So if you're a bench hand and you've got to get in there and you've got to you know finally lap out a finish, potentially you could be losing some detail in the end product when you come to moulding. So really, this is where this sort of machining centre takes a lot of that manual process out and gives you a high-end quality product. So, I mean, the, the accuracy of this machine, I said, is getting is sub-3 micron. Um, so, yeah, you know, any real high-tolerance holes where roundness and straightness is absolutely key, then this is, this is something we can do. You know, if you look at all our EDM machines, all our wire-cut machines, they, like you rightly say, they all sit at that high end of the pyramid in terms of machine tools capability and again this is where the, the UX fits into that range as well. And the speed that you talk about is that an important factor in the things like the surface finishes? It is yeah so for example um, the part that I've referred to anyway we're talking that's two micron step over at very high feed rate and we're running the spin look at 40,000 rpm. Um, what about things like the measurement of these parts and the tools all of these things are really critical in amongst your manufacturing process, aren't they? They are. So yeah. To be able to adjust according to yeah, tool life and tool wear, what, what are you using to, to measure something like that? Yeah, correct. So, I mean, uh, this machine is very comfortable going down to sort of 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and even 0 0.1 cutting tools, which on, on sort of most machines out there in the, in the, in the wider manufacturing world would, would generally struggle with. Um, and that's not just down to the machine itself and it's down to you know your spindle uh, your spindle speed but also tool measurement so you know this particular machine we use a vision system so we use actually a camera system and um, one of the benefits of that is that you can accurately measure the form and the size of the cutter without relying on a, a beam for example so if we took a typical laser measurement system generally the spot diameter is around 0.6 so when you get sort of point three and below you really start to struggle to maintain you know accuracy in, in measuring those cutting tools and we, we could only be talking maybe five six microns when you've got a point one cutter and you and you step over and step down it's probably only two microns at, at maximum could be the difference between running all night long and, and breaking your cutter on the first time it touches the metal hopefully this will give some some visibility um, hopefully, to, yeah. to the milling side because you know, it, it really is worthy of it. And I thank you so much for your time no, today. Thank you, Paul. Thank you.